welcome you all guys in our youtube channel so till now we have learned about uh, what is the basics of javascript history of javascript how applet works and uh, yesterday class we have a lecture of how a string and number works in javascript so today is our lecture based on how we write code in javascript so first of all we are going to replay.com till now if you have not seen the lecture of how replay work you can go and check the lecture too and there you can find that how replay works so here we create a new file name is you see here that node.js so we have click here and after this create lecture code now my front is uh, larger than yesterday so now we are going to start our lecture if you guys haven't subscribe our channel please subscribe this like and share please this is very important for you guys so today we are going to run our program in index.js we are not going to create any file so how in the index.js work i will show you today so now the first part is what is the writing of code in javascript you can assume that if i am going to write here let a is 20 if we have write here let a is 20 so can you say that this is the right method of writing javascript code or not if we are going to write a under apostrophe what will be there this is error why this is error because first thing i have to tell you about that variable cannot be a string variable cannot be a string type they can be a letter but no you can see that this is under apostrophe s so apostrophe so when we are writing any code in under apostrophe they are going to show me that this is a string so you cannot write here variable name under apostrophe so that's my first point is variable cannot be a string but you can see here that what the value assigned to variable is can be a string can be a int type can be a number type can be a float type whatever you want but now we are assuming only number type so yesterday we have already tell you about how we know what is the type of a you know what the value assigned to a what is the type of a so here you can see that this is a number type and we are if we are going to under apostrophe 20 so this is a string type okay guys now my first point is variable cannot be a string so we have right here let a is 20 and now we are going to write here let caps lock a means upper case of a is 30. so what is the difference between this board if you are going to remove this apostrophe you can see here if you are going to remove our apostrophe so there is a difference between a and a so obviously there is a difference between small a and caps lock a so we are going to write here our second point that java script is case sensitive so my second point is what javascript is very very case sensitive if you are going to here console dot log if you are going to here that please give me the output of a what the value assigned to a give me the output okay guys so now Now, what should be the output of this board? 
here you can see that console.log a is printing statement of our javascript and this tell me that please check go and check what is the value assigned to a so this will go here through one or two line till four line but this is a comment i will tell you that how we write comment in javascript so here you can see that a a is also this but this is also a but java script is very very case sensitive so this is a upper case letter this is a upper case letter so this will go here and check what is the value assigned to a now you can see that here and uh, here also this will go there and check the what is the value assigned to small case letter a so now we if we are going here and run our code so now you can see here that this will give me the output as 30 this will give me the output as 20 you can see here a is 30 and a is 20 small a is 20 and a capital letter of a is 30 now you can see here so we have two point now till now that variable cannot be a string java script is case sensitive so now we are going to this in comment out and if we want to write here that let a is 20 uh, a is variable here if you are going to write here 1 to a is 20 this is error why this is error this can uh, this cannot be a form because uh, i have not write variable name in manner way so the third point is what third point is our variable name cannot start with a number and we can put a number after character so if we are going to write here remove this one two and after character if we are going to write one two three this will not give me error here you can see that no any red line under this so variable name here we can write here variable name cannot start with a number and we can put a number after variable name okay guys now we have third point is what variable name cannot start with a with a number if you start variable name with one two this will give you a error you can see here that there is a red line under this so variable name cannot start with a number but we can put a number after variable you can see here if you are put one two three after a this will not give you error later you can see that here you can also write name name one you can see here this will not give you any error so if we now the third point is fourth point is what so our fourth point is variable name let cannot start with the symbol if we can assume that if we are starting our variable name with hatch this will give you error but when you start with a this will not give you error any because variable name start with number uh, letter only here so if you are right here hatch a b c is six this will give you error so here our fourth point is what i have right here variable variable name cannot start with a symbol symbol okay guys but when we are going to write here abc hatch abc and hatch this will give you error yes this will give you error because in this here you can see that after, when we use number after variable name you can see here name is a variable name now name one becomes a variable but after name if you are going to write one number type of value this will not give you error but this will give you error because variable cannot start with a number a symbol 
okay guys so now there is a exceptional something here uh, to symbol you can see here if we are going to write here dollar now you can see here that any error in javascript also two ex exceptional case are there that if we are going to write our uh, variable start with dollar this will not give you error and you can also if you are write underscore abc this will also not give you any error so but here you can write that but we can start our variable name with dollar and underscore so we have now one two three four points so now we have four point first point is what variable cannot be a string javascript is a sensitive variable name cannot start with the number and we can put a number after variable name variable name cannot start with the symbol but we can start our variable name with dollar and underscore now our next topic is what you can see here let name is Harley Davidson. You can see here I have write Harley Davidson. There is a space between this. You can see here a space between this. Okay. Now if we write here name of bike. Now you can see that this will give you error. Why? Because in JavaScript, variable should be in word word, one word. Here you can see that if we write only name, then this will not give you any error. But when we are going to write a space between word, so this will give you error. So what can we do here? So what can we do here? We have to write only in one word so here you can see that now this will not give you any error now if you want to write here that no i want to write here name of bike how can you do that you can do that here that underscore of underscore bike now you can see that name of bike is harley davidson if you are going to print this name of bike no this will give you error no because this is a variable this printing statement going to up and see where is the name of bike variable here you can see that name of bike variable is here so this will give me the output of what harley davidson what the value assigned to name of bike this will give you the output now now you can see that no sorry this is an index file so we are going to run from here harley davidson this will give you the output as harley davidson so what will we write here as a comment in variable we cannot put space between name this is our fifth topic that in variable we cannot put a space between name here you can see that but we can write this as name of bike with underscore okay now you can also write here that let name and caps lock of o f and caps lock of b i k so what is this type of variable named as i will tell you in next batch next lecture so now you can write here zero 
own box. Okay, now you can see here. This will not give you any error if you are going to write this in caps lock later. And now if any want to check your code, they can easily understand that after name O is in capital letter. So you, you can see here, they can easily understand that name of bike. Now, if you are if we are going to write here that name of bike. No, any understand this? What is the name of bike? Because all in small letter. So we have to write any variable name in manner way. So we have right here name of bike. Now we can write here that variable name should be meaningful. From here you can understand that variable name should be meaningful. So I have write name of bike with a capital letter between the words and here you can see that we have used underscore between words so variable name should be meaningful that any developer if you, they are going to check your code or if you, uh, they are going to uh, some editing in your code so they can easily understand that what is the variable name or how can you write there so here you can see that i uh, if hero and i is a bike name so i have right here name of bike so anyone can easily understand what is the name of bike is hero honda so that's our point here now we are going to write how we write comments in javascript okay now you can see here i have write this in your keyboard uh, you have this and if you are going to write in any line the comment you can type this from your keyboard and you are going to write anything here this is your comment this is slash also so if we are going to uh, 12 line, I want this whole is comment. So how can you do that? You can easily go here and write slash from your keyboard. If you are going to this both 10 and 11 line should be a comment. Now you can type hold control and slash. You can see here that my line is in under comment if we are going to put this comment out so we are going to press control plus slash this is in now this is our code so today's lecture we have learned about variable cannot be a string here you can see that no any variable name is a string okay so javascript is case sensitive you can see here javascript is case sensitive this a difference between a so this both are different what variable assigned to a uh, what the value assigned to a and here what the value assigned to a both are different if we are going to write also the same value uh, what the value assigned to a this both are the different variable okay so now variable cannot start with the number we cannot start variable name with a number this will give you the error but we can put a number after variable name okay so variable cannot start with the symbol variable cannot start with the symbol also but we can start our variable name with dollar and underscore in javascript only so
so we can uh, write variable name as dollar and underscore so my next point is in variable we cannot put a space between name so in variable we cannot put a, a, any space instead of space we can use underscore and caps lock of letter how we write comment in javascript from slash double slash you can see here that double slash you can write comment if you want to more line in comment so how you can do that you can select all the line one two three four and press control plus slash this will give you the comment okay guys now that's the point i want to cover today this is the basics of javascript how we write code in javascript this is very very basic thing you have you guys definitely understand all the all the all those points so please like share and subscribe and in future lecture we are going to cover all the topics related to recursion loops arrays the two dimensional arrays object method object method also two dimensional array also recursion trees link list and we solve all type of dsa question related to all topics when we cover one topic just you can assume that we, we are going to cover loops so the how many types of dsa question we are going to solve at that time thank you please like share and subscribe our channel